Hello and welcome to DIY D365. My name is Prashant and today we are going to talk about multi-language support in Power Virtual Agents, global variables in Power Virtual Agent and also how to export import solutions and add your chatbot to the solution. We will look at all those new features right after the intro. Alright, let's start with multi-language. So now you can create a chatbot in many languages. Like, as in what I meant to say is there are multiple languages available. You can pick one of them and create a chatbot in Power Virtual Agents, which wasn't the case earlier. It was only available in English. And obviously a lot of people must have asked it because ask for it because it's a no code low code platform it's easy to make so what about other places where people speak mostly let's say french or spanish or mandarin whatever languages i don't know um but it's really helpful so let's look at how you can do that so you log in and let's say you want to create a new chatbot so you hit on new and here you'll get an option to select your preferred language for the bot so for the purposes of this demo, let's select um, language bot and then it asks you to select language. Now you can see there are 15 languages in preview. Okay. And three in experimental. So Polish, Korean, Hindi, they are in experimental stage while rest are preview. So you can have Danish, Dutch, French, German. There's a lot is available. So of, let's select Spanish here and hit create. Now, it's not only about selecting the language because the best thing you get, as per me, is that uh, a lot of topics, system topics, are auto-created which includes greetings and thank you and welcome and whatnot, like which reduces a lot of your work to do it from scratch. So when I hit create, so I'm not gonna do that because I've created one already, but this is how you create it. You can select English, which is the default language, but you can select other languages as well. And you can see a lot, 15 languages are a lot for, for this uh, at the moment. Um, these are all new features which were released between April and May this year. Okay, so I'll just close. You can create and wait for the bot to get created in that language. I've already done that for Spanish. So I'll move, I'll show it to you. Hola is my bot and you can see the language here. The rest two are in US English and that's why it says US. So I'm currently on that bot and here is my bot. Now if I say Hola, it will reply to me in Spanish, obviously. Now, I've, I've made certain changes for the purposes of this demo, but it's still 99%, it's out of the box. So as you can see, all of these eight system topics are auto-generated. Uh, then you have all the lesson one to four, which are there in English bot as well. Um, and this one I've created myself, so that's the only custom one right, uh, which I've created. So that's how you create a chatbot in 15 other languages if you want to and place it on relevant uh, web page wherever you get traffic from people who have a preferred language. Now, if you want to see how to show and hide um, chatbots based on users preferred language, you need to check out my other video where I've shown it on Power Apps Boulder. Moving on, what we are going to talk about now is global variables. So you must remember variable if you've used Power Virtual Agents, there was something called variable and it's still there. Now you can enhance it and make it a global variable, 
What do I mean by that or what does that term mean? That means that not only within a topic you can use the variable, you can use it across the chatbot, like across topics, right? So let's say you ask the user their name once, you can actually store the same user's first name or last name anywhere throughout the canvas or topics, right? So for example, let's do this um, here, okay? I will just say no. And what the last question is, it's asking my name, okay? So if I enter my name here, okay, and then ask another question, it will remember my name. Now, this was from greeting, so I edited that uh, topic and added what's your name there, but this one is actually coming from my custom topic. So I'll show it to you one by one. Um, let me go to greetings and I know it, it might be uh, hard to understand for you because it's in a different language and so is it for me as well but I've understood it because because I've uh, played with it so okay so hola is the greeting and you, here you see it's asking certain question the first question it's asking this means is what's your shopping channel okay what shopping channel you prefer. To be to be precise, this just means shopping channel. And then I'm storing a variable, okay? And if that variable equals website, as in, instead of saying no, if I would have said website, it would have so shown me this message. But because I said no, it asked me this, showed me this message. Don't know what that is, but asked a question here, which is, may I know your name, please? And that's another variable. So there are two variables within greetings topics of mine. If I click on any of them, you can see that it's a global variable. You can see what, uh, I've selected the usage as bot. Any topic can access this variable that I've selected. I've also selected external sources can set values. Now we will look at it later and how we can use the external sources can set values later, but as of now, you can see that it's used by zero. That's what it says, okay? But it's used here only. Let me just go to the other variable, which is this, and it shows that it is used, so it's minus one, okay? It's used in greetings, plus it's used in this topic of mine, which is something related to more information required, right? So it shows you wherever, wherever you've got it now. If you ever want to, and you can click on go to source to go to the source where this is generated. So when I go to click on go to source, it takes me here. Okay, that's where the variable was first created. Um, <clears throat> also, yeah, if I can uncheck this, I can check this, right? If I, so whatever ways I need it, I can do that. Okay, now I'll close it. So that was the first part of global variables. Now let's see how we can use it in external sources. So basically now you can embed within your URL. Let's say you want to put an iframe on your website and in that iframes source URL, you can embed the variables, okay? Now I'm going to do it the static way. Let's just go to channels, custom website. I'll copy the bot with the ID here and I'll open this. Here, I'm going to say question mark and you can see this This was my variables, shopping channel. Um, let me go back and show it to you. Um, it was in topics, oh, wrong one. Okay, so shopping channel here is my global variable now when you use it on external sources this bot dot prefix you shouldn't use now coming back to this i have set the shopping channel to website so that when i'm placing uh, when i'm placing the bot on my website it doesn't ask that question to my users because they are already on the website right so i've done that now you'll say where else it would be it might be in teams right 
so you don't know that this is just an example okay um, so that's my first variable second I will add as and and username equals my name okay now hit enter so both are global variables and I'm able to use them externally now here I'll say hola and it will ask me nothing like this shopping channel question is skipped and it's basically telling me welcome to DIY D365 online shopping okay now here I'm gonna paste um, one of my questions or trigger phrases which is this let me just copy it okay going back and here I'll just paste this now it uses a global variable there and it hasn't asked me my name so that question has also skipped right because I've used it embedded it here now the same URL you can put in your iframe but you might want to change some things like you want to make it dynamic so you might want to watch my other video where I have shown it that how to make the username dynamic based on your POTUS logged in user so that might give you some hint okay so now we have done that we will go and publish our bot once just so that everything is good now next thing we'll do is go to our power apps and this is the third topic of this video which is to add a chat bot to a solution and then export it okay so you need to go to solutions and I will say, I'll give it a name, let's say language bot and publisher, I'll just choose anyone and hit create. Once done, it will show it to me here, language bot, I click on that and then I need to click on add existing. Here towards the end, we will see chat bot is now available. When I click on chatbot, it will ask me which one do you want to add, okay? So I can select both or what whatever number of bots you've got. Uh, in this case, I'm gonna select only my Spanish bot and add it. So once it's added, we all we have to do is hit the export button and it would be uh, exported. Now, this is all the components. Uh, you can see all topics, bot entity, and everything has now um, is now inside my solution so it is the export is simple just select it and click export so it's simple as that now if you want to edit make changes to your bot you can see this one which says the chat bot right that one you can open from here okay just click on that and it will take you to your bot power virtual agent instance like that okay that was all for today i hope you enjoyed the video and if you did do give it a big thumbs up do subscribe to my channel if you like and if you come here often thank you so much for watching have a great day